Welcome friends. In today's video, let's explore the scrape painting technique. It is super satisfying and so much fun. Here's what you'll need. Acrylic paints, a paper or canvas, and some cardboard cut to size. The paints I'm using are by Liquitex and these are the basic tubes. You can use craft bottles instead as well for this technique. For this first method, you want to squeeze your paint directly onto your paper or canvas. I'm adding paint blobs close to each other without any gaps in between and I'm going in rainbow order. Now you want to cut down a cardboard box to be the size of your sketchbook or larger and we'll use this to scrape the paint. Now you want to take the piece of cardboard and place it about an inch above the paint, hold it at a 45 degree angle with the paper, press down and scrape the paint. You want to press down and pull the paint with one fluid motion and try your best not to pause your hand at this time. At the end of the page, lift off the scrape tool. Now isn't that so satisfying? I love the color blends that we got. So I have paint left over on my cardboard tool and I don't want to waste that of course. So I'm going to pull out a blank piece of paper and let's try scraping it again. So I'm going to try and make a shape, a rainbow shape this time. Again, I'm holding the cardboard at a 45 degrees angle and pressing down that paint edge. I'm going to move in a rainbow arc and you can see already that there's some splotches of white because there wasn't enough paint on the tool. This is just leftover paint. I still think it looks cool and it's really satisfying, but let's try this technique again with more paint on the tool. This time I added a strip of masking tape underneath so that I'll have a clean edge to my rainbow. For the first method, we applied paint onto the paper directly. For this method, we applied paint onto the cardboard tool. Now hold the cardboard tool at an angle and then slowly but firmly move in an arc. And this fluid motion is so beautiful, especially since there's more paint on the cardboard tool. You can see how pretty the blends are. Now carefully remove the masking tape and this way we have a nice clean line for our rainbow. I will link the masking tape that I'm using. I really love this and I've purchased it so many times now. It never rips the paper. And then I took the paint that was left over on this tool and I just kind of went zigzag on another fresh piece of paper. This is also super satisfying. You never know what kind of color blends you're going to get but every time it just wows you. We were having a snow day in Minnesota, so my daughter was painting along with me. She used the craft bottle paints and you can see they're a little more watery than the acrylic paints that come in tubes. But she had so much fun with this technique. All you do is scrape paint and she was more artistic than I was. Just look at what she's creating here. The best part is that you want to add no water at all. There's no right or wrong. All you're doing is scraping paint until it blends and creates colors that you like. We use the cardboard box cutouts today. You can use an old credit card, a palette knife, an old ruler, a squeegee. I mean, there are so many options. Thank you for spending some crafty time with us today, friends. I hope you enjoyed today's video and are excited to try a scrape painting of your own. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions or just leave a note to say hi to me. I'll see you guys soon with another video. Till then, happy crafting.